Hey guys, it's Kara here from Kinsley's Creative Palette, and um, Tamara told me that I could come on and do a fun project with you guys today. And so I was racking my brain, and I was trying to figure out, like, this time of year, if you're going to craft for yourself, because um, Lord knows we're spending all of our time painting for other people right now and doing parties for other people. Um, so I was like, well, what would I want to make for myself? And... I also thought about what supplies I would have on hand and not have to run to Home Depot to buy. And so I came up with a scrap project. And I have already cut out my wood. Guys, this is super simple. I don't want you to overthink this, okay? I literally took my scrap pile and I cut three little Christmas trees. Now these are made out of the door hanger wood. Um, so these were, they can be all different sizes. Um, I, you can cut it with a jig saw a scroll saw you can cut it with the miter saw um but you see i did hello amy from oklahoma and betty from virginia y'all look how cute these are all right so i went ahead and i put one coat of paint um on these so that it would i wouldn't um be spending all of my time base coating while i was on with you guys oh let's see who else betty from virginia um, Jules from Chicago on her lunch break, Mickey from Indiana, Carol, oh, um, Carol, it is, I've been on here a couple times, but it's been a hot minute. Hey, Tammy. All right, so the other thing that I created with my scraps, because, okay, what is all the rage this holiday season? Anybody besides, you know, Christmas stuff? What is it? What is it? What is it? Now guys, I freehanded these um, out of scraps, so I just kind of used what I had, and I drew on my wood, and then I just roughly cut it out. I'm so glad all of y'all are joining me today. So this is a scrap buster project. That's what I'm going to call it, my scrap busters. And I have cut out three trees and two gnomes. Yes, two gnomes. Okay, now, when, oh, Carol says it's her first time on. Gotcha. Yes, they're gnomes. All right, so I base coated all of this. Now, I will tell you, I used MDF on my gnomes, and the reason is um, I have found that if you're cutting out, like, really small details, a lot of times um, using MDF, you can get, um, what, what am I trying to say? You can get these finer details without all of the, um, shoot, the splintering. Now with this, this is just regular tri-ply or revolution ply. I use tri-ply from Home Depot. I think that Tamara uses revolution ply. But this is actually MDF. Um, it is important, at least in my opinion, to base coat your MDF. Um, I always do mine in white because it usually soaks in that first layer of paint pretty well. So you don't want to, I don't want to go straight to my colors. But let me show you what we're going to do today. Super easy. I'm going to slap another coat of paint on these. Then we're going to work on our gnomes for a few minutes and then come back and do something super simple to these. So let me grab, I've got a paint plate right here. And friends, I have to tell y'all, I, um, my kiddos are going to be coming home pretty soon. And today has been like nonstop. I wanted to do this earlier, but had other meetings so when they come through the door and start talking to me I'm sorry um, I tend to be a mama first so just um no uh oh it says I have a low battery uh oh just know that if um I stop talking to you for just a second and look this way it's because one of my children have come in and today is a super special day because it is my husband and my son's birthdays so we are getting ready to celebrate tonight. Thank you so much for share, for sprinkling. Sorry, Anne. I appreciate that. Okay, so my first coat of red was a Deco Art Santa Red, and it is empty. So my second coat. Oh, yeah, thank you. I will tell them. Um, I'll tell y'all while we talk. Funny story. Yes, family is always first. It's always first. Um, my friend Christy Wells and I, she's my, she's one of my business part. Well, she is my business partner. Um, not with my painting business, but we have a coaching business where we help women learn to um, 
create businesses. And it's funny, we just talked about that yesterday on <clears throat> our business tip Tuesday was like, your values have to come first. So in my business, that always, my babies always come first. Okay, so I'm going to move this up out of the way. I do have a blow dryer on my table. And if I go so fast that I need it, I'll use it. But um, I'd rather just talk to y'all. So anyway, um, so it's my son's birthday. And last night, he was turning 10 today. He was so excited. He was like bouncing off the walls. And it was so cute because this morning at 530, he was in my bed. Oh, what color red is this? I don't get hung up on colors, but I will tell you my color. Um, my first coat was Santa Red from Deco Art. My second coat is also a Deco Art color, but it's the premium acrylic. And the only reason I'm using this is because I had it over here and I didn't want to go back to my studio. So this is called P Y R R O L E. I don't know how you say that, but Pyroli Red. So that's what color this is. Now, my green is actually a Doris color, which is the wholesale company for um, Michaels, in case you didn't know that. And this is just called Holiday Green. Okay, so um, where did I put my brush? I must have stuck it in the water. I did. Let me grab my microfiber towel. Now, friends, when I paint, <clears throat> there are a couple tools that are, like, essential to me, and one of them is a microfiber towel. Um, I wash these, I mean, on like sanitary, like super hot to try to break up some of the paint um, that gets in them. But these are what I use at my studio too, because I can go from my cup with like a wet brush to completely dry in about three seconds and you can shape your bristles back. So anyway, that's what I just used. So now I'm going to put a coat of green on. And I, um, I posted the link above, but I did a guest spot this month in the Painters Clubhouse, and so some of you may be in there. But several people, um, when Tamara gave them the option between um, the snowman with a scarf, which is what I ended up doing, or the um, snow globe, several people wanted the snow globe and didn't get it. So I am doing a $10 challenge over, it's a private Facebook group and um, the video's up, you can watch it whenever you want and the template's included. And so I would love it if some of you guys would come and join me. Um, I was gonna show you while that dries a little bit. This is what the snow globe looks like. Isn't it so cute? And I customized it with my family. So I've got my husband and me and my kiddos. And I tried to make it similar to the way our house looks. Um, and then I used a gold Posca pen because, you know, we love some gold Posca um, down at the bottom. So this is the um, $10 challenge I have going on. And um, anyway, super fun. So come join us. Make some new friends. All right. I'm going to grab my white. And I'm going to give you guys a quick tip. So, if you only want to do one coat of paint. Thank you, Penny Sue. Thank you. If you only want to do one coat of paint, my very favorite paint to use, if I'm in a hurry, if I'm doing a party that's like, I, I know I don't have a lot of time, is the Liquitex Basics. Now, this is a big container. It comes, I think, at Hobby Lobby in like these tubes. But... This project would go really fast and it would only be um, one of, it would only be one coat um, and maybe a little bit of touch up if you did the Liquitex. So, join wear name, please. My name, Mickey, is Kara and I am from Kinsley's Creative Palette. Just got 30 of those for a party. Oh, that's so fun, Nicole. Um, and at the, in the description of the live, um, I posted the link. It's on my website at kinsleyscreativepalette.com. And if you scroll down just a little bit, it's, it, there's a link where you can click and um, join. So, yep, it's $10. Um, you get put in the private Facebook group and you get the downloadable template. And there's even a traceable that helps you trace on the tree and the, um, the house so that you're not having to freehand that. I still added a lot of details and um all right let me put that there oh thank you 
I've got on my, um, I don't know, I know Tamara's a huge fan, and y'all probably are too, of the whatever letter, not whatever letter, sorry, of um, framed in a box. And this is my framed t-shirt, and so my earrings match it. It's really cute. So I had to put on some, some fun earrings today. All right, I'm doing another quick coat of white on here. I, I'm almost dry brushing. Hey, Dana, how are you, love? Dana, I was thinking about you today because I was working on a logo for another one of our builders. Um, and I see yours pop up all the time and it makes me so happy. Okay. Let me just slap a quick coat. Like I said, I'm almost dry brushing this because I, I just wanted to... You don't see the link? Hmm. I will drop it. <laughs> I was trying to show y'all, but I also didn't want to like... Anyway, I'll show you before I get done. I just didn't want to get paint on it because it's the first time I've worn it. And I have a concert. I wonder what happened. I will, friends, I will um, post the link when we get done. You don't hear me. Karen, I think you're the only one, love. Can it, um, Mickey, can you hear me, babe? What am I making? Sharon, I am making a scrap buster project. I love to be able to use all of my wood. And we tend to as, oh, thank you so much. You are precious. Thank you. Um, So we tend to have like these piles of scraps that we don't want to throw away because we think that they're big enough to make something out of but then they just sit around so today um, I thought I would come on live and show you guys so I just guys I freehanded this please don't be afraid to freehand things um I just drew it on I googled I literally googled online gnome um wooden cutout and I looked at a picture and I, I just kind of roughly drew it. So I drew two little gnomes out of scraps. Hello, Ginger! And then I had some larger, and I say larger, I mean these still aren't big, larger scraps that um, I did three little Christmas trees with. And I'm going to show y'all, I just painted white, green, and red. And the Christmas trees are going to be super simple. Oh good, Amy. Hopefully I'm not too loud. My, um, my kids say I am, um, but the trees are going to be super simple because we're going to do a little bit more on our gnomes, and I don't want this to be, friends, this is not something I know that so many of us, like, we're in this holiday season where we are making money, and we're selling, and we're doing all the things. There are times that you need to, like, do something for yourself, um, and so that's what I wanted this to be. Yes, you are welcome to do this at a party, um, but that's not what I came on to show you today. I came on to have a little bit of fun and show you how to use some of your scraps that were probably gonna get thrown away anyway and make something creative for yourself, for your home. This would be a fun project with kids. All right, so I'm getting some turquoise paint. This is called Caribbean. I wanted to use turquoise but my bottle is almost out, so um, I switched it up. I might do some accents, though, in this darker. I have enough I could get some accents out of it. Um, I'm going to use a colored pencil oh, and draw just a little bit on my gnomes. So the only thing I really want to draw is where the hats are. Let's see. I think we're gonna go so that I don't go down too far. Okay. All right, that's all I'm gonna draw on there. Can y'all see that? And then on here, oh gosh, guys, this one I'm so excited about. Well, hello, sweet friend. Um, his feet are like sticking out, which I I thought that was just so precious. I was going to do arms too, but then I was like, that's a lot of cutting and it gets complicated. So let me see. I think I want to go about right here. Now, the reason I use colored pencils when I draw on my board, y'all may know this already, but um, they don't smudge. 
So unlike a regular graphite pencil, um, it would smudge and I don't want that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this one's hat. Is that the one? Yeah, this one's hat a dark blue. I hope so, Ginger. I'm hoping it's going to be cute. Hey, Ginger, if you think about it, would you share this into our private group? Oh, I cut these, Karen. Um, you didn't know that. What did I not? Oh, oh, good, good, good. And they do erase, not as well as, as pencils, but this is all I keep over at the studio. I keep the big um, pur purple, pink erasers. <laughs> Thank you, love. Um, yes, yes, you can use talk. Um, the I also keep the big pink erasers and um, I keep a big just a big box of colored pencils um, because I don't want my people next door when we're painting to use graphite pencils so I don't even let them in the studio like they don't even come in thank you Christy I appreciate that if you were one of the people who wanted to do the uh, the snow globe um, can wood pieces? Yes, they can. Um, if you were one of the people that wanted to do the snow globe, that actually, I'm doing a $10 um, painting challenge this month. And um, the snow globe pattern comes, the digital pattern comes in that, with that. And I do have snow globes in stock to ship out if anyone, like if you don't want to um, cut your own. So somebody asked me, can they buy the wood pieces from me? Some of them you can, like my full-size door hangers. Oh, I didn't know about the Magic Rub white erasers. Thank you for that. Um, so I sell the full-size door hangers, and then I also sell the porch leaner attachments, like the little six-inch shapes. Um, but as far as these little gnomes go, I literally got out there with my jigsaw and just kind of had some fun. I drew it with, um, I'll show you guys the back. Let me show you. You can see my rough drawing. Like I kind of drew and then I added to it and um, it didn't come out perfect. Thank you, thank you so much, Ginger. Uh, so I just kind of just have fun with it. And if you mess up the gnomes, like what's so great about them is they're so fun and kind of quirky looking anyway, it doesn't matter. So just have fun with it. This is supposed to be a stress relieving, fun project. <laughs> Karen, you need to make yourself some gnomes. I have a template that I shared with my private group um, this month and we made, let me show you this. This was our, I we do door hangers, but we also do like, I do some bonus projects. Um, and we made these, if you can see these, so I shared these templates with um, my private group and we used Mod Podge and scrapbook paper to make them and they were super fun, but it was just a, a break from painting. All right, I'm gonna go to my, let's see, I'm gonna go to my red. Now the next hat that I'm gonna do is gonna be um, red and turquoise and that's where I'm gonna start. So I'm probably not even going to downsize brushes because I'm all about simplicity. So let me just, I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm gonna turn it on its side and, um, and just paint. Now, normally I would size down. Oh, you know what, friends? I think I may have to jump up and plug my phone in real quick. Can y'all bear with me while I do that? Because otherwise I think I might, I might die. And y'all might lose the feed altogether. Oh my gosh, look how cute that's gonna be. Karen, what was so great about that project is um, there wasn't really much drawing to it, but because you use the patterns from the um, scrapbook paper. Hey, Tamara! Oh, when, um, because you use the patterns from the scrapbook paper, there's not as much detail and you get to have more fun just with the Mod Podge and creating. 
So I try to do um, one project a month that is not, or something, you know, a little bit different. Like we did watercolors one month. I just, I love to create and I love to create door hangers, but there's so much more that I like to do. Okay, these are triangular tip or handle brushes. And this is a 5 8 and it's my favorite brush. It's just a flat. Um, they sell these. Sorry. Um, friends, if it's your first time watching me, I paint with a trimmer. So, I apologize. Sometimes it's worse than others. Um, but I'm just wrapping these edges with paint. But this is a 5 8 It's a flat brush. Tamara, have you looked? You know what? Message me. Um, have you looked at Walmart? Because normally our Walmart carries them. Uh, and if you haven't, message me because I've got another source I could share with you. It's where I order mine wholesale. Look, look, look. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> I know. Well, I know, but I just, Ginger, sometimes, um, sometimes I think, like, people are like, oh, gosh, does she, you know, does she not like to paint live? It's not that. I love painting live. It makes me happy. Um, oh, you know what? Next, I'm going to paint. Oh, let me show you. Guys, this is what... Tamara, they don't look like this. Um, this, is the, this is the brush set. But I order these wholesale, so they won't look like this in your store. But Michaels carries them. Um, and I know our Walmart carries them. But they're in um, at our Walmart... They're in this funky package. Um, I know that's not super helpful. It's like the the kind that sticks together. I don't know. Anyway, plug your phone in. Oh, okay, yes, let me plug my phone in. I have the little charger piece. Let me just find a cord. Oh, let's see. All right, friends, I should, hopefully this will work. Um, I'm looking from the back. Can't find the little plug. Okay. Let's see, let me wrap this around. Okay, I think we're good now. Let's see. All right, friends, I think I'm plugged in. What does that say? Look. The kids paint area. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Tamara. Um, okay, so let's get back to painting. So I've started on our gnomes. Yes, they're in the craft section. And so I've painted this. This dark blue is dry. And I've painted some funky little stripes on this one. They're not dry because they're thicker around the edges. So what I'm gonna just keep doing while um, we talk is I'm going to just keep adding paint. So let me add some more blue. Grab the pencils. Oh, um, I do like, gra I like graphite paper, but I don't like graphite, like the regular pencils, cause they smudge. So I don't know if that makes sense. Um, like I use the paper all the time but with the regular pencils, when I rub my hand across it, um, it, it smudges on my paint. Teresa, you're so sweet. All right, friends. Now, I don't know what the backs are going to look like, but I'm not really concerned about it. Yes. That's right, Ginger. Okay. So, I'm going to grab a smaller brush. I'm going to put the nose on with this... Um, Oh, I grabbed the wrong, oh, no, I didn't. I was going to say I grabbed the wrong one. I use Sunkissed Peach. Becky, thank you. Y'all are precious. Use the Sunkissed Peach. You don't need a lot. I'm just going to um, make my little ovals. I get quiet when I'm doing the details. Okay. I'm just going to make my ovals. Judy, I don't think so. I mean, I don't use, I've never noticed it too. Let me say it that way. I've never noticed it too. But I also don't rub on it the way I would if I were um, painting. Synthetic brushes. 
a good question. I'm guessing yes. Maybe. I don't have an answer. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, I'm going to paint his feet. Um, I This paint, in case anyone's at, wondering, is the Deco Art Premium. And it's in the squeezy tube. And it's because it's what I have. Yes. I say use whatever you have. I don't get big into this is the only kind of paint to use. Um, use whatever I have. And sometimes, friends, um, if I catch sales at Hobby Lobby or wherever, I use whatever is on sale. All right, so I'm just going to paint his little shoes. I paint both of their little shoes. I love this, guys. I love how, like, his little... Um, Oh, Linda, I, I don't I don't know the answer to that. I should know the answer to that. I think they are. Synthetic is, yeah. Yeah, they're synthetic because they're not like animal hair. All right, I'm going to wrap this paint around the sides. Do you sell the blanks? Um, Sherry, I do for my big door hangers, but this is a Scrap Buster project. And so I just used random scraps that I had laying around. And um, I'll show you the back. You can see I kind of just drew it on the board. <laughs> Package. Okay, I will in just a minute. I promise. I will in just a minute. Um, I know my children are going to get home pretty soon. And my focus is not going to be on painting once my babies come through the door. Yes. She has blanks. No, I don't have these blanks because I just cut these today. These were just like a random um, something that I decided to cut. I was trying to figure out when um, Tamara said that I could come and do a live. I was like, well, what should I paint? And I was racking my brain. And finally, I was like, you know what? We have a lot of this time of year as crafters. Um, and especially as business owners, um, is we have lots of scraps. And so I was like, I'm going to use, I'm going to make a cheap project that most of us probably already have everything laying around to make it with. When you have, thank you, Linda. I appreciate you. All right. Okay, so I'm going to pause on these, and I'm going to go back to my trees. My trees are going to be super simple to finish because, um, Tamara, I'm going to put mine on our fireplace. There's like, <laughs> um, on our fireplace to the right of the fireplace, I'm going to prop them up like the little trees. And then um, the little gnomes, like, between the trees. Okay, so I am going to use this stencil of Buffalo Plaid. Now, friends, when you're looking at this, like, yes, you can always use your stencil like this, but you can also get creative and, like, turn it sideways. I'm going to use mine just normal. And because I made 12 trips to the studio today and forgot my pouncers... I'm going to use a sponge. This is one of those, um, it's from, it's from, um, Dollar Tree. It's like their magic cleaner sponges. There's my baby. She's coming. Hey, friend. How are you, love? I'm live. Do you want to come say hi? Okay. So, I'm loading it up, plaid stencil. Yes. yes, I've used this a ton. Okay, so I'm gonna use this and just up and down. Now friends, please don't obsess about getting it exactly perfect. Stencils are not made to get it perfect. They're just made to make it easier um, and more consistent. Like I love that I can put a quick pattern on. And these are supposed to be rustic. I mean, they're not supposed to be perfect. So just straight up and down. Mickey, I have um, this particular stencil is in my Amazon shop on my website if um, you want to find it. I love it. It was like 10 bucks, and I've used it and used it and used it and used it and used it this year. 
Oh, I'm trying to not get paint on my nails though. So, um, <laughs> I, my, I tend to start getting too aggressive with my sponge here. All right, so just up and down. I'm gonna move down here. I need to get some more paint on my board. <laughs> You're good. Um, Judy wants to know what type of wood I use. So I have two different types of wood that I'm using right now. Um, this is Triply from Home Depot. And the gnomes are cut from MDF. And I, I did the reason, I'll tell you, the reason I cut the gnomes from MDF is, hey sweet girl. Um, oh, I just got distracted. Oh, sorry. I'll have to buy her. I'm using my daughter's sponge. I'll have to buy her new one. Um, the reason I used MDF for the gnomes is because, ready? Um, it doesn't uh, splinter. So you can come look. Oh, very cute. I can put my hair on. That's awesome. It's getting long again. My daughter cut her hair off at the end of um, the summer, and it's getting long enough she can put it in a little ponytail now. You want to say hi? There's only 267 hi. people watching. <laughs> um, Gwen, I can take a rough picture of it, but I didn't like use a template. I just used, um, I just drew it out. But if you would like for me to do that, I can do that for you. It just might not be today because it's my baby boy and my hubby's birthday. And when he gets home from school, it is all... It's going to be his time. Okay, so I've got that part done. I'm going to show you all what this looks like when I remove it. Uh, can you all see that? It's hard because I see all the comments, and I don't want to swipe those away because they don't want to be able to answer your questions. Okay, let me look for, I think it was Linda, I wanted to know what the brush is. Um... Sweet friend, I would love to tell you if these are synthetic, and I'm guessing that they are, but this package does not say. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Ginger, I will tell them. Um, if y'all weren't on in the beginning, I think I told some of you this. My little boy this morning, he was in my bed at 530, so stinking excited about his birthday. And... He asked me, we were looking at Time Hop, which if you don't use Time Hop, it is a super awesome app that um, goes back and you can see like old pictures and memories and stuff. And he loves to look through those. So this morning when we're laying in my bed, he was looking back and last year for his birthday, uh, we went to a Mexican food restaurant. You're welcome, Linda. And um, they sang happy birthday to him. And that was, like, huge for him. He wanted them to sing happy birthday. So this morning, he says, Mom, Mama, will you take me somewhere to eat tonight where they'll sing happy birthday to me? So, I'm sorry. Okay. What is that? Should I read it now or later? I'm oh, sorry. Just concert information. Oh, for tonight. Okay. All right. So I am going to... Friends, it's really important when you're using a stencil, if you don't want it to bleed through, just wipe it off. You can use a paper towel, use whatever you want, but the main thing is to get the excess paint off so that when you set it down, um, it, it won't get on, like it won't get on your board. Does that make sense? So, I am using my microfiber towel. Guys, I've had these same towels for three, four, five years. Um, and like I said, I wash them unsanitary, so they get super, super hot, and it kind of breaks up the paint a little bit. So I've used the same ones. I do have some that if the kids come into the studio, not my kids, other kids come into the studio, they'll um, forget and wipe their whole paintbrush, like loaded with paint, onto um, the microfiber towels, and then it's harder to get off. Okay, so Kinsley's Creative Palette.com, and there's a like after you scroll down just a little bit, there's a link to sign up for the Snow Globe Challenge, 
And then there's also a link to see all of my favorite products in my Amazon store. Okay, I'm gonna just up and down. Same thing with this one. Now the reason I did these, I wanted these to be super simple because I want the gnomes to like steal the show. Ginger, are you kidding me? You have pink ones? Um, and Judy, this stencil is approximately one inch squares. I have it in several sizes because I love all things buffalo plaid and I don't love the process of drawing out buffalo plaid, but this particular stencil is approximately the one inch squares. Sarah Beth, it is, it's much easier. It's, I won't say it's super duper easy. Like, I mean, it, it's not perfect and it's time consuming, but it's, thank you, Ginger. You're awesome. Um, it's not, it's not nearly as hard as trying to, to, um, draw it out by hand. And I love that it looks kind of vintage whenever it doesn't fill in all the way. All right. So I get some more paint. Now, when you're using the stencils, though, you really want to get some of your paint off of whatever it is you're using to dab with. So you want to kind of like load it and then get a bunch of it off. So it's consistently across the bottom, but then um, oh, it's not um, going to bleed underneath. And if it does bleed a little bit, and my friend Mary's not on here right now. She's my perfectionist in our group. And if it bleeds, like she would not be happy. And so you just have to like roll with it. Anything handmade is not gonna be perfect. Like that ruins the beauty of being handmade. All right, so I'm just getting all the way down here. I'm gonna have to scrub my nails later. Okay, ah, look how cute. Can you show us the snow? Yes, I sure can. Let me set this down for just a second. And let me show you my snow globe. The snow globe is so cute. There it is. And you can customize it. Like I did it um, to match my house and my family. <laughs> no, Ginger. I really didn't want to mess up. I, my nails are color street. I didn't really didn't want to mess them up. I'll just have to scrub them. All right, so. If you want to paint the snow globe with me, it's $10. It's a do it on your own. The video is already up. You download the template. You can do it before Christmas, after Christmas. The great thing about the snow globe is it can stay up until like February. So I love my snow, or I love a snow globe because it's so versatile. And I actually painted both sides of mine. In the video, I, I, I show you how to paint both sides but I only give you the template to paint one side because it was the most popular. Okay, so let me set this back down. I need to line it back up. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay. There I go getting quiet while I'm concentrating. Okay, so let's get some more paint. The Buffalo Plaid, um, Ginger linked my Amazon affiliate store above, and I have the plaid template or stencils um, in my Amazon store. So that's where I purchased mine. Um, I also sell, if you have a cutter and you cut your own, um, there's a file that you can purchase. It's four sizes in one. Um, oh! Good thing that wasn't worse. Um, but it's four sizes in one and you can cut your own and it's $4.99. So if you do cut your own um, templates or stencils, sorry, then um, you can do that with those files. They're um, SVG and DXF files. All right, I messed that up just a little bit. So I'm gonna touch up over here. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to the third tree if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Then we're gonna go back and finish up our gnomes before my little buddy gets home from school. 
All right. Ooh, you know what? This one. Gwen, thank you. You're awesome. So they are synthetic, Linda. Okay, so I'm not gonna have to move the stencil. It covers almost the whole thing and the top part would be um, a solid block anyway, so it wouldn't have gotten painted. So I'm just gonna finish this and then we're gonna go back to the fun stuff. Nine by nine is, is the one I have. And then I also have the 12 by 12, but the nine by nine is the um, smallest. That's this one. Is that helpful? Fingers are sticking to my stencil. Most people wash their stencils. I don't usually do that. But if you um, do wash your stencils, they are, um, you can do it with like Clorox wipes. Um, Linda says, where are the stencils posted? The ones that you can purchase from Amazon, um, Ginger posted a link. And the ones that are the, the files that you can cut your own, those are in my, on my um, website in my store. Okay. Okay, let's see. All right, friends, that part is done. Um, Betty, I just use acrylic paint. Now, if you, oh, um, Christy, I think that's in my Amazon store too. The uh, the kind of paper that, or the not paper, it's um, plastic that you use. Um, I'm trying to think of what it's called. Mylar is what it's called. All right, I'm just gonna get some of this paint off of here so I don't get it all over my hands. And then we're gonna paint the rest of our, well, we're gonna finish painting our gnomes, not paint the rest of our gnomes. Didn't, that doesn't make sense. Okay, you are very welcome, Christy. So, I've got my trees painted. I'm gonna show those to y'all. Very simple buffalo plaid trees. And here's the white one. Aren't they cute? No, these by themselves would be super cute. And friends, um, if you happen to have a miter saw, I cut these super quickly with my miter saw. You can also use a jigsaw. It's not a problem, but um, it goes super fast if you, um, you know, I don't know. Some of you may have husbands or friends or sons or whatever that have woodworking tools. Okay, let's paint these. Okay, I, yep, I'm going to leave it. I was going to say, I was thinking about doing um, a different color on my hat over here. All right, the first thing I'm going to do, just because I want them to start drying, is I'm going to put snowflakes on his hat. And in order to do that, In order to do that, I do a cross or a plus sign, and then I do an X across it. And you can vary the lengths so that some of them are longer and some are shorter. And then I also do these little like snow dots around it. You see that?
My dogs are barking and it annoys the heck out of my daughter. It's kind of funny. I'm like, they're just wanting to talk to you. Oh, yes. Thank you for answering that. These are my Uniposca pens. They are my favorite. Love them. All right, friends. So, this does not have to be hard. does not have to be perfect. Just some quick snowflakes. All right. Then, gosh, my hands are dirty. So much for staying clean. All right. I'm going to work on both of their beards at the same time because... I mean, if I'm already going to be using those colors of paint, why not just get them both done? <laughs> yes. So, funny story, guys. When um, I have a, I'm going to call him my little cousin. He's like 6'4". When I was growing up, we were five or six years apart. We weren't very far apart in age. And um, when he got older... He, um, he used to call me a garden gnome because I'm super short. And so I hated it. I hated gnomes for years because I'm like, I'm not a garden gnome. And now I'm like, I love gnomes. Well, hello, Pam is just coming on. All right, friends, this is going to be super chill, super laid back. I am, this black is almost dry. But I'm using just a tiny bit of it, and I'm mixing it with my white to get different shades of gray and white. So, we're going to do this one first. And I'm literally just going to do some strokes. Wispy strokes. I'm going to show y'all. It's hard to see on camera. But you see that? I'm just doing wispy strokes. I'm going to get a little bit more, a little bit darker. And I'm going to weave some of that in there. And then I'm going to go back with some light. So when you're doing this, a lot of times you want your paint to be dry when we're, when we're working with acrylic paint. But for this particular project, I do like my paints to kind of blend so that it gets that varied. I don't know if that's the right word for it. But kind of that varied look. All right. Bye, Mickey. So I'm going to leave that one for just a second, and then I'm going to do this one. Now, this one, I purposefully cut these pieces. Um, I don't know what, like these little cutouts. Let me and see. So I kind of want to follow those lines um, and kind of highlight that. All right, I'm gonna show y'all so far. So I kind of made it um, like loop up, but it's not gonna stay just like that because I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna tone it down. But I did want to bring that kind of that curve in there. And with this particular one, um, I've got his hair is kind of going different different directions. Annie, okay, so let's be let's be honest for just a second. Um, I started painting for the first time. Hey, Nancy, um, I started painting for the first time three years ago, and I fell in love with it. And it's just practice. It's just honestly, it's it's confidence. It's learning to embrace your imperfections, work with what you have, and um, just gaining confidence. Like, the more you do it, the more you'll want to do it, and the more comfortable you'll get doing it. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right, so I kind of took some of that off, but I'm going to go back and put some more back on. I'm going to move back over here to this one because it's a little bit dry. So now I'm going to add some more streaks in here. And, and friends, they don't need to be perfect. These little gnomes are not going to be perfect. Sarah Beth, I, this is a scrap buster project, which means I took scraps that I had laying around 
and I just made do with what I had. Um, this was totally meant to be fun, and if you craft for other people, this time of year can be crazy, hectic, and this was just a fun project to, um, look at that, cute, um, <laughs> this is just a fun project to use, um, a cheap project, it's a very cheap project, because you're using what you already have, but also just to get out of the creating mode for other people and do something for yourself. Because it's so much more therapeutic when you're painting for yourself. And there's not that pressure that it has to be perfect because it's for a customer. Um, Karen, I used a Posca pen. They are my favorite. They're like, I call them the Cadillac paint markers. So I just painted this. Linda. <laughs> okay, so I just painted the hat and then um I after it dried, I just put that on. Now, I'm going to size down a brush and add some details. Linda wants to know if we are neighbors. No, Tamara and I are friends. We met through a course we took. Gosh, it's been a year and a half ish ago, maybe longer. And we became friends and we do similar businesses. And, um, yeah, so no, we are not, yes, just to have fun, Teresa, um, so no, we are not neighbors, I live in Ohio, all right, I size down a brush, anytime that you want to get better details, go down a brush, and by that, you see how you can get those wispy, um, those wispy pieces, I'll tell y'all what, here's what I'll do. Go if, oh, you know what? I can't do it right now. I was gonna say if you go join my email list, but I don't have the link up. Cause I'm, you know, a planner. Um, I was gonna say I'll email all these, these templates out. So if you're on my email list, I can send these templates out. But if not, yes, isn't it so much less stressful? And I don't know about, oh, that's too much black. I don't know about you, but I want to say this delicately. When um, when I started painting for other people, I don't want to say it took the fun away from painting, but it it made it a job. And so I don't know, y'all. There's a little curl right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it made it more of a job and less of a stress reliever. And so I. I really had to start doing painting projects because I still really love to paint. Um, I had to start doing painting projects that were not for money. And, all right, friends, I know that's not perfect, but he's, um, it's, and it's hard to show on camera. But I had to start doing them because I was losing my zest for painting because I was just like, man, all I do is, um, all I do is paint for other people. So anyway, I'm gonna have to redo this part, which is the great thing about paint is you can just paint over it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Linda. Um, Ohio snow. So my little guy this morning, if you're just joining me, um, you may not have heard, but it's my son and my husband's birthday today. All right, I don't like the curl in the front, so I'm going to have to get rid of it. I'm going to paint right over it. So anyway, it's my husband's son's birthday, and this morning, little guy came and crawled up in bed with me, and he was so excited because he's 10. Mom, I'm 10 today. And um, I said, well, is today the best day ever? And he goes, not really. And I said, why? And he said, it's not snowing, Mom. So this afternoon, I was leaving to go to an appointment, and um, it started snowing. Yes, um, it started snowing, and I thought, there you go. He got his perfect birthday. No snow here. All right, so I'm going to switch to, I think I just have a couple things left. Let me get a brush. And I'm going to paint some red. All right, friends, um, 
trying to think, how am I going to get this to you? Hey, Christy. Christy Hawkins is watching. All right. Look how cute. Super duper cute. We're painting gnomes over here. We're having a scrap buster project. We are using up some wooden scraps that I found laying around and we are painting some gnomes. Yes, double digits. That's what he was most excited about. It's double digits. All right, so I'm, I'm just getting some red paint and carefully filling this in. Now guys, I don't want this to be perfect. I want them to look rustic because they're going with our little buffalo plaid trees. So don't, um, yes, yes I do. <laughs> um, friends, if y'all will email me at Kinsley's Closet at gmail.com and agree to get on my email list. I will make sure y'all get on so that when I send out this video, um, I can send these. It won't truly be a template. It's just going to be pretty much a picture um, of these that you can trace. How about that? Thank you so much. So, Send me an email, say, hey, Kara, I want to join your email list. And when I send this video out, I will send the template as well. And then y'all can um, all have it. How's that sound? You're welcome. So it's Kinsley's Closet with K's like this. Um, it's a little bit different. Yes, thank you, Ginger. Ginger just put it on there. Um, but it's different than my business name because I had to kind of change it last year. So I still, honestly, if you search, um, Kinsley's Closet, you still get to my business page or Kinsley's Creative Palette. Paint pens used. Poscas. Poscas. Love me some Poscas. How many of you friends are going to Tamara's event in, is it March? I think it's March. How many of y'all are going? I went last year, um, my business partner Christy and I went and spoke, and I was totally wishing I could have just crafted. It was so fun. Kelly's going. Awesome. <laughs> You're welcome, Pam. All right. The only other thing that I want to do to these is accents. See, but see how his nose doesn't really stand out. Christy says she's going. Awesome. All right. So, friends, let's look at these kind of together. Got our trees. Let's see, I'm going to lean them up against me. We've got, how cute are those? And then we've got our little gnomes who I'm going to accent here in just a second. How cute. So I'm going to lean these up and kind of make a little scene out of them. But guys, like how cute are those? Aren't those sweet? Oh, that's awesome, JJ. I'm glad you're going to get to go too. I'll make sure to invite your friends because it's always more fun to do it with friends. And you'll meet a lot of friends there. I met, gosh, I met so many people there last year. It was so awesome. Yes, I'm getting out my Posca pens for the outlining and the details, but friends, friends don't let friends use Poscas on wet paint. Just going to say, we don't let friends use Poscas on wet paint. So Jessica, these are going to be leaners. Um, they're going to lean against my fireplace. So they're just going to be like along the wall. So it'll be like, two, you know, a tree, another tree, another tree with like gnomes between them. But the snowflake hat. Oh, thank you. I was like, the snowflake hat. Um, I couldn't remember what that was. The These would be cute, though, if you had, and you could use scraps for this, too. If you just took a board and you um, na not nailed it, stapled it. 
you stapled your pieces from behind to that board so that they would stay up and then you could just mount that board somewhere but you can do whatever you want i just was trying to think of something fun inexpensive that we could use our scraps to do today you are very welcome all right so i'm gonna um grab my black posca pen and I'm gonna have to get a new one out because I went um, next door and took all of my Posca pens earlier. I had to quit carrying stuff over there. No, I didn't forget my hair dryer. Just like the peace and quiet. It's red on the bigger gnome. Oh, <laughs> Laurel, I should do that. I didn't even see that. Thank you for pointing that out. Let me do that real quick. Here's my paintbrush. Oh, somebody asked me how I clean my brushes. Ruler tray with slots. Yes, you could stand them in that. Um, rule the. Someone asked me how I clean my brushes, and normally I just use water. And if they're really dirty. Um, a little bit of Dawn dish soap. I did a live on um, my business page a few weeks ago where I tried the boiling technique and then I also tried the goof off. And what we found is you don't want to use, uh oh, you don't want to use goof off in warm water. It's bad news. Um, and also, you only want to put your bristles in the goof off. Um, I don't know. Linda wants to know. Uh oh, I can't. Um, the goof off, you only want to put your bristles in. You don't want to get plastic or anything like that because it'll literally melt it. I don't know what the cost of that is. Linda, I'm so sorry. Maybe Tamara can tell you. Um, all right, so that is pretty dry. That's pretty dry. So I'm gonna grab my Posca pen. I'm gonna have to prime it because this is the first time I've used this one. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Kimberly wants to know where she finds these cutouts. Kimberly, I literally just drew them on some scrap wood that I had and then cut them out. So this was a scrap buster project. I just wanted to um, use some scraps that I already had to make an inexpensive project that I wouldn't feel bad about keeping for myself. Cause you know, this time of year, so many of us makers are making for other people that, um, I just wanted to do something for my family. All right, so I'm just gonna outline this nose. I just drew a circle around it. Um, I think I'm gonna draw just a few lines in here to accent his hair. His beard, I should say. All right. I'm gonna do this one too. I put mine in conditioner. Oh, that's good to know, Teresa. Thanks for that tip. WD-40, that's a good idea too. All right, 
I'm going to use this white Posca pen on the blue stripes only because my red are not dry. And I just did them on the one side, so it would be, I don't know if y'all can see that, so it's kind of like a highlight. And then I'm going to do it on the nose. Oh, it's hard to see, but um, just a little bit of detail on there, making sure, there I go. You don't want to use your Posca pens on wet paint. You'll mess them up. All right, now I'm going to follow this edge. I'm not going to do the whole thing. All right, friends. Oh, let me do a little bit on his toes. Um, I'm going to show y'all one more time. Quote I heard, craft is fun until it becomes work. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Craft is fun until it becomes work. You are absolutely correct. So I want to show y'all real quick before I go. Um, you can paint this with me for $10. Um, it's a pre-recorded video. You get the template. Um, and I also have a link if you don't want to cut your own. I also sell the blanks. But um, it's a private Facebook group. And if you want to join me, it's only $10. Um, I think that's it. So I hope that you had fun with this sweet little um, craft busting project. Look how cute these are going to be together. Aren't those super cute? So anyway. This was just a creative break for those of us who um, spend this time of year creating for other people. And sometimes you just need to create for yourself. So I am going to go celebrate my husband and my son's birthday. And I'm going to go put these on my fireplace because I think they're going to be super cute. And thank you all for joining me. Bye, friends. Have a great day.